We're combining two of our most important national holidays to make you one of the best burgers you'll ever have. And by important national holidays, of course I mean today's National Cheeseburger Day, if you're watching this September 18th, and Monday's National Guacamole Day. I know many of you will say those are not important. I would argue, I think they are important. So check this out. 50-50 blend cheeseburger with guacamole, butter fried jalapenos, and crispy onions. That just got me hard. I'm kidding, we can't, we can't put that in. We cannot put that in. Please don't put that in. <clears throat> kidding. That just gave me goosebumps. Burgers first, guacamole second, fried jalapenos, then everything comes together. Here we go. This is a half a pound of ground chuck, 80-20, just regular that you get from the supermarket. And this is a half a pound of ground brisket. I asked the butcher if he could grind me about a half a pound of brisket. He cut a little piece. This is it. The difference that this combination will make in the burger is almost everything. Ground chuck. You see that? No. Ground chuck, burger by itself, great. Ground chuck, 50-50 with ground brisket, unbelievable. And so if your butcher at your supermarket or your butcher shop can do this for you, outstanding. Uh, if they can't, I mean, I bought myself a little grinder attachment for my kitchen, sorry, for my KitchenAid that will do this. You don't want to use a processor. You can, it's not ideal. It will turn it too mushy. And one of the things that helps make a burger juicy is the little air pockets in between the grind, right? When it's sort of mushed up, there's no place for the juice to go. You want the juice to stay in. So let's mix these two. Here's the chuck, then the brisket. And the goal is to, to be as gentle as we can. We want to be we want to be light with our fingertips. And I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but again, the goal is not to mash this stuff together into a fine, fine paste. That's not what's gonna help anything here, so. The proper way to do this, if I was in a butcher shop or at home with a grinder, is to grind the chuck into a bowl, grind the brisket into a bowl, then take bits of each, grind them through again, so then it mixes in there. But when it mixes, it comes out in this extruded way so that it keeps the air in between the strands. That's what it's all about. So just be careful. And when you're good, we'll form them into patties. And this is a pound. It's going to give us three one-third pound patties that we'll weigh out. So let's get our scale. Little piece of wax paper. We want grams. Let's hear some more of this. Pound, okay, so we want a third of a pound. So it's gonna be 0.33, we want that. Okay, so we'll put that there, and we'll come back. These are gonna be nice size burgers. You're gonna like this. And if I'm living properly, this one should weigh out almost exactly that. See, it's a little over, that's okay. Let's form these. So now that we have these, let me just do this, put just a tiny bit of oil here so they don't stick when we come to take them off. And now again, same thing. Don't be too rough. Gentle, gentle, gentle. That's a nice looking patty, right? And this one, this also will be a nice looking patty. Thickness look the same, Max? Yeah. Okay, and last but not least, beautiful. Okay, these are gonna be amazing. Next, guacamole. But before I do, I've got this little guy. We'll make a little tester. I don't need to, I know it's gonna be good. So a little salt and pepper. Both sides. Tiny bit of oil. We'll let that kid live there, get nice. You know, the thing is, it's, it's more like a steak cooking than it is a hamburger cooking. 
the brisket. It's all the difference. Okay, guacamole. Here's my wrap about guacamole. If you want it pureed, smooth, like baby food, pablum, then go to the store and buy it because they sell that shit already. But if you want good, chunky guacamole, you can taste every component of it, then do what I'm going to do. Of course, we start with what we believe is a ripe avocado. It could have fooled us, but it feels right. You exert gentle pressure with the pads of your fingers, not the tips like this, the pads. And if it gives way gently, it's probably a ripe avocado. Should we check? Of course we should check. Take our knife, cut down. I can't go any further because I've hit the pit. So look, you can just let the knife follow the pit all the way around till you come back to the middle. And perfect. I'm telling you, use that trick. I did a thing for some avocado board years ago, and that's what we learned. So now I take a spoon, just follow the shell, drop it in, get the extra. Then you take your knife, hit the pit, quick turn, out it comes. Same thing on this side. In you go. Gentle mash. Next, we'll switch to a fork. Oh, here, wait. Look at our cute little burger. <sighs> that bite's gonna be so good, so good. So, a quick mash, but we're trying to keep it chunky, guys, right? So, don't go crazy. But you need it mostly done when you start adding the ingredients, which are diced white onion, and the white gives it an extra little bite, so. If you only have yellow, fine, but I'd try and get white. Diced tomato, some cilantro, chopped, of course, some lime juice. Beautiful. Chipotle peppers already minced, like this, for a little bit of heat and some smokiness, and then a pinch of salt and pepper, and in this case, salt pepper with garlic powder mixed in. One of my faves. And what do we do, Max? We mix. We mix. This is guac you can get behind. That's chunky. Our burger. Mmm, heaven. You taste everything. It's not a freaking mash. A mash is fine. Potatoes, yes. Cauliflower, yes. Avocado, no, don't do that. Please. Look at this little kid. Should we just have a little bite? Wait. How about a single bite with a little of this on it, right? Just a single bite. That's gonna be good, right? Oh. It's so beefy. Oh my gosh. And the guacamole. Or the, anybody a Howard Stern fan? The guacamole, as uh, George Takei would say, is outstanding. That little bit of heat from the chipotle and the lime. Can I make this bite for you? Camera shy, that kid. Mm. Great. Out of boy. But wait, no fried jalapenos on it yet. Let's do those now. Uh, no cheese, no bun, no sauce, no, no crispy onions. Come on. Pretty simple. For this, you need jalapenos and a knife. And we cut the little ends off, and then just this. Seeds and all. Get all the ones you want. And then, it's simple. You collect them up, as many as you can. Then drop them in a little pan on the heat with some melting butter. And the rest, and then look, give them a little stir so the butter goes all the way across the bottom. With my left hand because Max won't move, but that's cool. Anything for the shop, Max. And just leave them alone. I can hear somebody saying, why are you frying the jalapenos? Does it just make them hot? And the answer is yes, it does make them hot. But it actually takes a little bit of the heat off 
without cooking them a little bit, but it brings the flavor out more. Tiny bit less heat, a little bit more flavor. Softens them up a bit. It's all good. It's like an onion. Eat an onion raw, it's delicious, then it's oniony. You cook it, you get less onion uh, uh, spice, but more onion flavor. See the shit we're learning together. I love it. Okay, we season these guys, we start cooking burgers. And here we go, and they're pretty thick, so you can be generous with the seasoning. And we'll do the other side once they go on. A little oil. Down we go. Then we season this other side. <laughs> and now we're cooking a burger. You don't really need to do much, just let the kid live there a bit. In the meantime, we'll get our bun happening. On and on, I'm using brioche. You can find them almost anywhere. It's a slightly sweeter bun. Super delicious, super delicious. These guys coming along, softening beautifully. Fun, ready? Okay, let's flip our burger. Look at that beautiful crust. And on top, a couple pieces of pepper jack cheese to do some beautiful melting. And while that happens, and here's what we're doing. Japanese mayo. And some green salsa. Salsa verde. A little bit right here. We mix. I can't tell you how much this is gonna add in the most gorgeous way ever. And I'm ready for the burger. Next, this madness, this deliciousness. I feel like two national holidays coming into one burger deserves a special national double holiday song. I shan't be singing that, but just know that I believe that. Two more things. Some of these amazing, and then some onions. I gotta tell you, this is all the makings of, I don't know, everything. It's like it's got a pinhead, and I'm trying to put this on. <laughs> it's ridiculous looking. How's it look, Max? How does she look? Or is it a he? And the little squish. How's the little squish? And the cut. Oh, look at the cheese in there. Holy S. I mean, the sauce underneath. Okay, I cooked it a tiny bit more than I wanted to, but I don't care. I'm eating. Can I just, just see that. Did you just see that? Have any idea how... You don't know. It's a steak burger. It's not a hamburger. It's a mess. It's not too hot. The jalapenos are perfect. That little two ingredient sauce underneath is magnificent. The brisket's insane. And the crispy onions. Seriously, it is worthy of a two national holiday event. Yes. And finally, as always, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for hanging with us and watching and subscribing and liking and, 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 and hitting the notification bell and, and all that stuff. And just so you know, we listened to your suggestions. We asked the other day what we should make for the burger video. And let's see, um, Jerry Briggs said pepper jack cheese, avocado. We use those. Shad Van and Rob McIntyre both suggested a 50-50 burger. 
Shad said 50-50. Buffalo and pork. Rob said 50-50. Brisket and bacon. We did a 50-50. Our version, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to salute. Dumbest. Ignore that. Don't put that in.